everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm shooting at this beautiful beach here in Lisbon it's my last day shooting here it's the third day in a row um, I'm going to be doing this beautiful glittery editorial beauty shoot and I'm really excited to take you with me along I hope you'll enjoy it um, before we get into this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads First, I'd like to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you guys are ever in the need of a website or a professional looking portfolio or an online shop, Squarespace is definitely a place for you to check out. They have loads of beautiful templates that are fully customizable. You can change them around in case you change your mind or you want to update your website. They have a great customer service that is going to help you any time of day and night in case you press the wrong button like I sometimes do. And they are super affordable. So if you guys are looking for something that is very professional but at the same time won't break your bank then they are definitely a place to go make sure to check them out by using my link squarespace.com anita to get a 10 percent discount at a checkout and let's get right back into the video So for the first one, we are going to be on the stairs. We are going to try without the um, direct sunlight. We are hiding in the shade and then we'll see how it goes. I am still to set up my light. I will probably shoot on 2.8 or maybe 3.2, 400 of a second. We'll see how it goes. Yes, yeah, so that's a bit dark. So maybe 250th of a second. Beautiful. Might change my settings a tiny bit to 320th of a second. A five. So I want a bit less um, depth of field. Yeah, lovely. And can we get you to maybe sit on this one here, just on the corner, and just legs yeah. down? Yeah. And can you sit a tiny bit more towards me with your legs? Yeah, perfect. Not too much. Yes. Okay, so we moved on to the full light. I really like it. 5.01250 of a second, ISO 100, we're shooting in full sun. As we see, our beautiful model is a, is a disco ball, which is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Lovely, yeah. So when you're shooting beauty outdoors, it's very important to start relatively early, because as you can see, the sun is really strong already. It's blinding, sign with her beautiful rosa, sorry. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, so we can close your eyes. Okay, one, two, three. Beautiful. So I have F5.0, I might go to F6.3 just to make sure everything is sharp. Okay, and one, two, three. Beautiful. So I'm shooting in my 2470 because I don't have a macro lens because I lost mine somewhere. Okay, so at the moment we are going to set up for um, the backlit shots. When we're shooting in full sun, it's quite bright and quite blinding already, so it's kind of hard to get the shots. When we're in the shade, it's a bit too dark as well, but when we're backlit, we're getting the lovely um, bling, but we're also getting some subtle, um, you know, highlights and so on, so it's a nice little balance. Okay, so now we'll see what the light is like. We're doing backlit. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so pretty. Um, let's actually go and... Can you stand kind of on the verge of the shadow? <laughs> Look at the sand, the way it reflects of you. Yeah. Beautiful. So 
So I'm shooting with the light right behind her head. So we're getting lovely light on her hair. Lovely. And maybe even if you like, if you want to do like something with your hands, if you want to like play around. Yes, exactly, beautiful. As you see, our model has beautiful party pants on. Um, yeah, we have the pink and then we have the silver jewelry. We left the earrings the same because I really like them. So maybe if you just like lean your butt against the thingy. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. And we have this leg towards me a bit more, yeah. And open this one up a tiny bit. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. Love that. It's really nice. I'm getting a tiny bit of sun. It's nicely backlit. Yeah, it's really lovely. I might change my settings to 3.5 of a second. I don't want that much of the background for this one. Beautiful. So, yeah. Beautiful. So I'm still trying to hide the sun behind the model's face. It's nice and backlit. Gorgeous, actually. So for most of them, I'm going for a pretty low angle and I'm shooting quite wide as well. I'm shooting like 28, 35, even though it's not my usual, but I really dig this style lately. That's beautiful. And maybe if you just like rest your chin, yeah. Perfect, that's so beautiful. Oh, I love the pants. Look at this girl. Look, yeah. oh. Oh, the freaking, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And look at me. Beautiful. Oh yeah, girl. Yeah, so I think the key of shooting something like that is just to go very early in the morning. That's so stunning. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. Sorry. So I'm kind of going in between hiding the sun behind her face or behind her head and kind of it peeking through on the side. So we get a tiny bit of reflection. Oh girl. Now the light is really magical, so we'll take some close-ups. Oh, that's actually really nice. What if you were even like, kind of like, lying, kind of, yeah, I don't know, that's... Mm. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, so I'm shooting this in the full sun because I really love how the white in the background looks. I think it connects very well with the with the underneath of the of the top because we have the white and then we have the whatever color this thing is, gold. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that's lovely. Would you mind popping a tiny bit more like highlights just here and like on the top of the leg? That'd be great, thank you. I think it works really well because the white connects with the building behind you and then the nudie thing connects with the sand.
Cool. And go. Yeah, that's nice. And actually when you're doing that, when you're looking kind of behind you, that's really nice. Cool. One, two, three. There we go. That should be better. Okay. Yeah, it's lovely. So this is our last look. I actually made a skirt out of the dress because I didn't really like the dress. Sorry, I'm just tucking myself in. Yeah, so this was a dress. We tucked in the dress here, made a, just a skirt out of it. We had another top, added some jewelry. Yeah. I just trying to add a bit more texture because the top of this dress is pretty boring. So just thought it would be a bit nicer. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, so we're just hiding in the shade because it's way too freaking hot. Okay, I'm changing my settings in 250th of a second, 6.3, ISO 160. Beautiful. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go down with F, maybe 4.5. Can I get you off the wall? Maybe just here? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Can you bring the necklace up a tiny bit? It's great. Beautiful, yeah, that's lovely. Getting the light right there. Gorgeous. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed me walking you through how I shoot the editorial from, you know, shooting in full sun to backlit, back to full sun, back to backlit. Um, I think it was a very interesting mix for me. I enjoyed both looks. I feel like the backlit was a bit more magical for me, um, but I did enjoy shooting both. So um, let me know which one did you prefer in the comments down below and I will be sure to check them out. And if you did like this video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.